Benzene can be found in gasoline. It wants to know what's the mole ratio of benzene to octane in the vapor above a solution that is 11% benzene and 89% octane by mass. And we're gonna keep it at 25 degrees Celsius. If the octane was all by itself, its vapor pressure at this temperature would be 11 torr, and the benzene would have a 95 torr pressure. What are we going to use to deal with this problem? Well, it's gonna be our friend here. Only thing is, I only have two things. So I don't need any additional ones out here. It's just these first two. We're going to work with this. Now notice this is not going to finish our problem because it's asking for the mole ratio of benzene to octane in the vapor. This is going to get us there. And we're, see, here's a chi. It's not really an X. It's got a little more swoopy and tallness to it, okay? But the pressure, and let's make this the benzene. And then this one is going to be the octane. Okay, so this is what we're going to use to help us along the way. What do we know? Well, that's supposed to be a mole fraction. Well, I haven't really explained mole fractions yet, so I'm gonna have to work this out for you. And they're not making it any easier in this problem because it says it's 11% benzene and 89% octane by mass. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to say, I have 100 grams just to make my life easy. If I say that I have 100 grams of the solution, then I know from those percentages that I have 11 grams of the benzene and I have 89 grams of the octane. Now you'll notice I'm also cheating. I'm giving myself extra sig figs right here. Because if you look at this, that has only two sig figs. But I'm just gonna go with it for now. Round it back later. So I have this, and I said I had 100 grams, and that there's this many grams of benzene and this many grams of octane. But I need to work with mole fractions, which means I need to work with moles. I go and I look up some information. I find out that the benzene has a molar mass of 78.11 grams per mole, and that the octane has a molar mass of 114.23 grams per mole. So now that I know that there's this many grams and I know the molar mass, then I can work out how many moles I have. One mole would be the 78.11 grams in this case, and one mole would be the 114.23 grams in this case. And when I work those out, I get that this one is 0.141 moles, and that this one is 0.779 moles. That means the total number of moles is just adding these together, okay? That's total moles. That means now I'm in a position to figure out what the mole fractions are. Chi for benzene is going to be the moles of benzene, which is the 0.141 over the total moles, 0.920 for the mole fraction. The mole fraction for the octane is going to be the 0.779 moles for the octane over the 0 0.920, and that will give me 0.847. Here's a place where you can do a double check. Just quickly, you add these together and you discover that they add together to be 1.0, great, that's what they should add up to because they're supposed to be mole fractions of the entire solution. So when I get the entire solution together, it should be one. And now we'll use Raoult's law. So the pressure total is going to be chi of the benzene, the 0.153 times the pressure from the benzene. Okay, I've got to remind myself what that is. It says the benzene pressure would normally be 95 torr. And then I have to add to it chi for the octane, 0.847, times the pressure that the octane would normally give you. When we calculate these, this is going to give you 14.5 torr, and this one is going to give you 9.3 torr. So this is very interesting. It shows us 
that even though there's less benzene in the mix, because its pressure is so much higher than the other substance, it ends up actually being responsible for more of the total pressure. If we had been asked what the total vapor pressure was, we would just add these together and get this number. But guess what? That is not what we were asked. We were asked, what's the mole ratio of benzene to octane in the vapor? We can get that from these two numbers because the pressure in the gas phase is always directly related to how many moles there are. So if they want a mole ratio in the vapor, it will be the same as the mole ratio of the pressure. That's coming back, you know, to your gas laws in, in Chem 2. So if I want to do that, they wanted it as mole ratio of benzene to octane. This one was the benzene, and that one is the octane. So benzene over octane. And the tors are going to cancel out. And that will give us 1.6 because I only have two significant figures. We can also look at this and think about it in terms of this very confusing picture again. If I said that one of them is the liquid phase and the other is the gas phase, then I can see that there's a different composition and we see that that is true here. These numbers of moles resulted in different mole fractions. And then, of course, there was this business of the pressures. And so the total pressure ends up being a result of what is the actual mixture 